Praise the Lord. I'm Bishop Trevor Williams from Power and Praise Ministries. And we exist by God's grace and favor to do His work. I am totally submitted to the Holy Spirit. The Godhead indwells me in the person of the Holy Spirit. We are told here in Ephesians chapter 1, reading from verse 13, the Apostle Paul says, And you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Having believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession, to the praise of his glory. Praise God. And the apostle goes on and says, For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is God's intention that we know Him better. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Almighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. It is with full confidence of the fact that you exist and that you live in us, your saints, your believers, those of us who put our trust in you, that I approach your holy presence even now. Lord, this world is your world. Satan has messed up planet Earth. Satan has messed up the population and planet Earth. But you are not asleep, Lord. You are very much in control. You are omnipotent. My God is omnipotent. And that I can't deny. My God is omniscient. My God is omnipresent and you have raised us up to fight the good fight of faith in your name, in the power of the Holy Spirit. And even now, Lord, I submit myself to the Holy Spirit. I say, blessed Holy Spirit, forgive me of all my sins. Take control of the sin nature within me and render it inoperative. Fill me, blessed Holy Spirit, because I submit to you and submit to your control. Father in heaven, it is because you will live why I can face tomorrow. Because you will live, all my fears are gone. I am cognizant of the fact that we exist for your purpose. We are not here on planet Earth for our own purpose. We are here for your purpose, even though at times we wonder what is going on. We wonder if Darkness is failing your face. The enemy who belongs to the world of darkness is able to veil your face. But no, you crushed Satan and his entire kingdom of darkness at Calvary 2,000 years ago. You met Satan in the spirit world and you crushed him. Yes, you bruised your heels. Just as you had promised. You were bruised for our iniquities. You were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement for our peace was upon you. And by your stripes we are healed. But in the process you gained that legal sentence over Satan. In that process you executed your judgment of destruction. Your judgment of blindness. Your judgment of defeat, your judgment of madness, your judgment of disarmament upon Satan and all his forces, you have vanquished Satan at Calvary, some Lord. Some Lord, you have vanquished him. And you have given us the same power, the same ministry to keep Satan vanquished. He has been vanquished but not annihilated. He still exists. Albeit with limited power. But Lord, you have put at our disposal your eternal power. Your power at work in us is not circumscribed. 
And I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Every believer can do all things through Christ who gives them strength. I bless the Lord. In the mighty name, Jesus Christ, there is the Lord. In the power of your resurrection, Jesus Christ, there is the Lord. I now execute your legal sentence on Satan, upon the rulers, upon the authorities, upon the powers of this dark world, upon the spiritual force of evil in the heavenly realms, upon the rank and file of the gates of hell, upon the rank and file of the kingdom of darkness, and of the king of the kingdom of darkness, upon the rank and file of all force of darkness, operating from the second heaven, upon the rank and file of all force of darkness, assigned to and operating from the starry heavens, upon the rank and file of all force of darkness, assigned to the, the eons, but the rank and file of all force of darkness assign some Lord to the cosmos and the cosmos rank and file. Lord Jesus, I bless you, Lord Jesus. Some Lord, I praise you. Some Lord, it is in your name. It is in your authority. It is in your power and might, in your resurrection power and the authority of word that I execute your legal sentence and judgment of defeat. Your judgment of destruction and blindness and deafness and deafness upon Satan and upon all all these forces of darkness engaging your angels of blessings in deadly combat in order to, to delay your will and purpose on planet earth. But the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. I am strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. I put on the whole armor of God that I may take my stand against the devil's scheme. For my struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, against the spiritual force of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, I put on the whole arm of God, so that when the day of evil comes, I may stand my ground. And after I've done everything, I still stand. I stand firm, therefore, with the belt of truth buckled around my waist, and the breastplate of righteousness in place, and my feet fitted with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition, I take the, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. I take the helmet of salvation. I Lord, I take some, Lord, the shield of faith with which I may extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. And I pray in the Spirit on all occasions. With this in mind, I'm always alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Some, Lord, it is in your mighty name. It is in the power of your resurrection. It is, Lord, on the authority of the word that I execute your legal sentence, your judgment of destruction and blindness and decrepitude and paralysis and discomfiture upon Satan and upon all these forces of, of darkness assigned to earth's population, to the people and planet earth. Satan and his forces continue to impose darkness upon your people, continue to impose blindness on your people. Isaiah cries, darkness covers the land and grows darkness the people. But Jesus is the light of the world. Some Lord, I come against everything Satan has put in place to oppose you. In the name of Jesus Christ, visit Lord. Some Lord, it is in your name and authority that I demolish every strategy, every trap, every act, every utterance of the force of darkness arrayed against the kingdom of light. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this Lord. I execute your judgment and legal sentence upon all the force of darkness assigned to pray, to issue curses, to prophesy and incantate, to appear to your people as angels of light, to give them some, Lord, vision and dreams. Bless Father, for people to embrace them. I come against the Lord and I execute the judgment of destruction by the prince of the power of the air that force that works in the children of disobedience. I execute the judgment, Lord, but all these force of darkness who pray and prophesy and incantate and issue curses from every mountain and hill in Jamaica and the world. And every, I execute on every altar erected under Satan and the priests and priestesses serving at these altars. Bless Father. Great Father, I execute a judgment upon all forces of darkness represented by land creatures, those represented by sea creatures, those represented, Lord, by humans, and all their systems, 
some Lord, I, I execute upon Satan's control upon the people, upon the elects. I pray some Lord for the salvation of all your elects. Some Lord, I pray against blindness, spiritual blindness and deafness and deafness that Satan has imposed upon your people, upon your elects. Some Lord, I pray for the salvation of all your elects on planet earth. I pray for the deliverance and salvation of all your elects on planet earth. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Some Lord, I pray for a massive revival in the ecclesia before the rapture. Some Lord, I pray come quickly. But I pray for a massive revival. A massive revival, some Lord, in the ecclesia before the rapture, some Lord. Some Lord, it is in your name. It is in your authority. It is in the power of your resurrection that I execute your legal sentence. And your judgment of defeat and destruction upon Satan, upon his kingdom, upon the operations, the satellite systems, the communication, the communication systems, the, all the forces and the human agents and counterparts. Some of us pray for the deliverance and salvation of all captives under Satan's control, all those whom he has captured and he has enslaved. And those whom he has been using, this father in his kingdom to propagate this father his purpose and program. I I pray, Lord, for their their liberation and deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this Lord. Some Lord, revive the ecclesia. You have decreed and declared on this rock I build my ecclesia, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Lord, the Bible also says that the foundation of God stands shown with this inscription. The Lord knows them that are His. But Lord, the Ecclesia needs revival. Some Lord, the Ecclesia has been infiltrated and contaminated to a large extent by the force of darkness. Some Lord, I pray restore the spiritual weapon to members of the Ecclesia, the prayer weapon, the Bible reading, Believers have confessed to me, Lord, that they read the Bible and they can't understand it. They hear the message and they can't understand it. If the preacher is not jumping up and ray raying and kicking down the benches, they don't believe that anything is going on. They don't believe that the preacher is preaching because they are lost, because their minds are under the control and, and, and bondage and contamination of Satan. Some, Lord, I pray for the deliverance and purging of every member of the ecclesia and respective leadership. Some, Lord, I execute your judgment of destruction upon every denomination. The membership and leadership organizations and systems. I pray, Lord, you set the ecclesia free. Some, Lord, execute your legal sentence of destruction upon all counterfeit ministries, upon all counterfeit societies, upon every counterfeit organization and institution, all counterfeit, Lord, religious movement, upon Grace Father, all religions and the leadership and membership. Lord, I praise you. I pray you set the ecclesia free. Some Lord, I secure your legal sentence of destruction upon all counterfeit pastors, counterfeit ministers, counterfeit apostles, counterfeit bishops and overseers, upon all counterfeit evangelists, singers and preachers, prophetess. Um, Prophets and prophetesses, some Lord, some Lord, some Lord, some Lord, I execute the legal sentence upon them, some Lord. Some Lord, I execute the legal sentence upon them. Some Lord, your sentence of destruction, your sentence of defeat. But Lord, I pray for revival of the ecclesia and every member of the ecclesia and every branch of the ecclesia and respective leadership. Some Lord, I pray for your revival and your pouring upon every gathering of sincere believers. Everywhere sincere believers meet. I pray some Lord, you revive them. Some of the prayer revive them, some Lord. Everywhere since your believers meet, I pray you meet with them. Some Lord, I pray you meet with us. I pray you empower us. I pray you loose us. I pray you guide us. I pray you inspire us. Some of the prayer carry us, some Lord. Some of the prayer for revival. Some Lord, we need revival. Revival comes from you. Some Lord, 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 I pray, pour out yourself upon all flesh. Some Lord, pour out yourself upon every male, every female, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, in this revival. Some Lord, I'm looking to see a difference, 
a difference in the lives of believers a difference in every gathering of sincere believers some lord the enemy has caused the church to be divided along denominational lines and this group calls itself put where's a label the other group where's a label and each group is seeking to preserve its distinctives somehow to be identifiable as according to the labels but you're not dealing with labels you didn't come somehow to set up Roman Catholic Church Anglican Church Baptist Church United Brethren that is not your purpose the church is one foundation and it's Jesus Christ our Lord the church is one foundation. Lord Jesus Christ, Mr. Lord. Some Lord, it is a strategy of Satan to carve up the church along the national line to cause the church to be ineffective. But this group is cursing that group. That group can't cooperate with this group because, Lord, this group claims that only they are going to heaven. The members of this group are going to heaven. Lord and the other group makes the same claim but that Lord is all a trick of the Satan of Satan some Lord the church is one foundation the church of which Christ died you died for our sins you purchased us unto yourself we were not bought with corruptible things such as silver and gold and precious stones we were bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ some Lord I pray you, you stir us some of the pray, restore unto us the joy of our salvation. Some of the pray, restore unto us spiritual sight, spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge, spiritual understanding. Some Lord, restore unto us, some Lord, our sense of purpose. We have lost our purpose. We have lost our way. Some Lord, we are mixed up. We are ineffective. Some Lord, some Lord, we have a spots and wrinkles. But I pray for a revival. I pray, Lord, for our not pouring of ourself. Some Lord, I pray, Lord, for revival in the ecclesia as you pour out your wrath and judgment of destruction upon Satan and upon the kingdom of darkness and all is Satan's works and operations and everything has put in place is orders and systems. Some Lord, I pray you pour out your wrath and vengeance and fire, brimstone, boiling sulfur, boiling tar upon every branch of Satan's church. The membership and leadership, the operations, the prayer services, the outreaches, bless Father, the evangelism program, some Lord, the prayers, the prophecies, all branches of Satan Church. I pray you consume with your fire, consume the systems. Some Lord, I pray you consume the orders and systems of dealers, of warlocks, of prosecutionists, of witches, of wizards. Lord, I praise you, a voodoo and kumina, a lodge and mason, a mayalism, Zionism, pokuminaism, revivalism, between priests and priestesses. Some, Lord, pour your wrath and fire upon all the gods and goddesses. I read about it in the Bible. And, Lord, they have been assigned to different territories and planet Earth. Some of the prayer pour out a wrath upon all the force of darkness assigned to every planet in the Milky Way. Those assigned to the sun, the moon, and the stars. Some of those assigned, some Lord, to planet Earth and the population and planet Earth and the different regions and planet Earth. Those assigned, some Lord, to the region of Australia, the region of Eurasia, the region of Lord, North and South America, and the far north, the regions of Antarctica, and the far south, the region of Africa, the territorial waters, and all the islands and keys thereof, some Lord. I pray, Lord, your proto vengeance, wrath, and fire by the force of darkness, assigned to operate as marine forces. Some Lord, they operate from the oceans, and seas, and rivers, and ponds, and lakes, and springs, and waterfalls. Some Lord, I pray, proto vengeance, and wrath, and destruction. For the force of darkness, some Lord, assign some Lord, some Lord, to operate from the Atlantic Ocean. Some Lord, the Americas, the Caribbean, the Pacific Ocean. Some of the prison, Lord of prison, some of the prison, Polynesia, and all of the oceans and seas, some Lord, and bless Father, and all the islands and keys, there some Lord, and, res and their respective populations. Some Lord, I pray for the salvation of all your elects. Lord, I pray for the salvation of all your elects, some Lord. Some of the pray for the salvation of all your elects, some Lord. The enemy has transferred the wealth of this world to those who serve him. 
see it on. But the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Some Lord, I pray for a massive transfer of the wealth of this earth from Satan, from his movement, from his people, to your people, to me, some Lord, and to people like me, whom you have called unto yourself. Some Lord, I refuse to accept that the church of the struggle to carry out its program, to pay its workers, to put up buildings, and and whereas on the other hand, Satan and his forces are doing well. They are basking in glory. Those people who are caught on the feet are able to change the airplane at, at will. And we can change our cars. Bless Father, I refuse to accept that. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness in it. The world and they that dwell therein. Satan has hijacked the earth's resources. The riches and wealth of this earth have been hijacked by Satan. His people have no need, no lack. They have the money. They go where they want. They contaminate people. Lord, the fees are high. They pull the wool over the eyes of people. Some Lord, I pray even now, some Lord, that they transfer the wealth, the riches, the stocks, shares, cash, properties from all those who worship Satan, who pray to Satan, who serve Satan, and follow Satan, and represent Satan to your people, some Lord. Some Lord, transfer them to our accounts and to our names, the stocks, shares, cash, wealth, riches, and properties. Some of the pray, you empty the coffers of all those who worship Satan and transfer their wealth to us. We need the money, Lord, to invest in people, to invest in the ministry, to invest in the work. Lord, we need the, the, the wealth to pay workers, to hire skilled people who have the mastery of cutting-edge technology and the sincerity of heart, Lord, to do your work. Lord Jesus, and we would, we would be in a position to pay them. Some Lord, I reject the idea. I reject the belief. Some Lord, that it is okay to be poverty stricken. And we can't meet our bills. We can't pay our bills. It's not good, Lord, for us to rent properties from unsaved people. And we claim that we are Christians. And we can't pay them the rent when it falls due. We can't pay the light bill. That bill is cut off. Water cut off. Yet those who worship Satan, they are okay. They have the wealth. They pay the bills. In fact, they own properties. They don't even have to rent. They own the properties because they have the wealth of this earth. When it is not theirs, it is yours. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. And we are your people. You have called us unto yourself. Lord, I remember the children of Israel. When they were about to leave Egypt, you told them to ask their neighbors for items of clothing and items of jewelry. They did so. And you put it in the hearts of the Egyptians to give them everything they had. The Bible says, Lord, the children of Israel plundered Egypt on their departure. They plundered Egypt in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the resurrected Lord. In the power of your resurrection, I now plunder the kingdom of darkness. I take their stocks, shares, cash, wealth, riches, and properties for ourselves, for myself, and for all believers, for your kingdom people. Lord, because Lord, Satan has, has done us great harm. He has stolen our money. He has blocked money from coming to us. He has held up our angels of blessing or angels of finance, or angels of health, or angels of ministry. And some, Lord, I know execute your legal sentence upon Satan's operations in the spirit world and in the natural world. Some, Lord, I pray that in everything, your will be done. In everything, you will have the preeminence because you are God. To you belong the glory. To you belong the power and the might. Your power is supreme. You are supreme. Some Lord Satan is a broken, crushed creature. You are supreme. Lord, you are supreme. And we are your people. We represent you. I'm here praying in your name. In your mighty name. 
Jesus Christ, the resurrected Lord. I am here praying and employing your resurrection power, the power that raised Jesus from the dead. That's the power the Apostle Paul says he wants to know. The power of your resurrection. Some Lord, I want to see your power of the resurrection, of your resurrection at work. The power of your resurrection at work in making this great transfer, Lord. The transfer, Lord, of wealth, stocks, shares, cash, riches, properties from those who worship Satan and pray to Satan, from those whom Satan has blessed and Satan has enriched. Lord, transfer those wealth to us so that we can do your work and we can pay people and we can, Lord, take leave and we can go to a good hotel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be Lord. We can pay our debts. We can pay our mortgages. We can, some of your servants, Lord, don't live anywhere. Some, Lord, some of your servants live in rented apartments. Some of your servants, Lord, are physically sick and ailing and suffering. Some of, some of your servants are retired and they have no pension. Lord Jesus Christ, be Lord. Some of our prayer come true for us. Some of the prayer take charge. Some Lord, there is an imbalance in the system. Some Lord, there is an anomaly in the system. Some of our prayer, you rise up now and address this anomaly because you are God and there is none else. Some Lord, I pray for your, your saints. All the saints who are sick. Some are suffering from cancer. High blood pressure. Some of heart conditions. Some Lord have head conditions. Some of joints conditions. Some Lord, many of them are suffering from arthritis and rheumatism. Some Lord, some are some Lord suffering some Lord from intestinal problem. Some Lord, you know the different problems that uh, beleaguer your people. The enemy has inflicted on the people. Yet you said to the children of Israel, and the way out of Egypt that none of the diseases that you brought upon the Egyptians would be upon them, so long as they remain faithful. None of those diseases will catch them. Some Lord, I pray, Lord, that you reverse all diseases the enemy has, imp has imposed upon the people. All diseases. Some Lord, you know the suffering of the people. I bring before you, Lord, the suffering of your people. Some Lord, I bring before you now the suffering of your people, some Lord. Some Lord, I bring before you the suffering of your people, Lord Jesus. Some Lord, you know everything. Some Lord, in you we live and move and have our being. Some Lord, I claim healing and deliverance from every curse, every disease, every ailment the enemy has visited upon your people. Lord Jesus, some Lord, I pray that you lose your people who are being held as captive. Lord, the work they used to do, they can't do it again because they are sick. They feel sick. Lord, they want to get up. They have the mind. They have the mind to pray. They have the mind to evangelize. They used to evangelize. They used to be active in the ministry. They used to be very busy. But no, Lord, they are sick. The enemy has imposed diseases upon them. The enemy has imposed all kinds of conditions upon them. Some Lord, I pray for the release and deliverance and salvation, restoration and empowerment of your people. Some Lord, I pray you release your people. Some Lord, I pray restore your people. Some Lord, you are God, you are supreme, there is none else. Some Lord, I refuse to accept anything at the hand of Satan. Some Lord, I refuse to accept any bad treatment at the hand of Satan. I refuse to accept what he has imposed upon me and upon us, your people. Because some Lord, you are God and you are supreme. And we are your people. I'm happy Lord that my God is Jehovah. I'm happy that my God rules supreme. I'm happy to know that my God controls the universe. The universe is yours. And in you we live and move and have our being. Some Lord, I am not afraid of Satan. I'm not afraid of whatever, whatever he has planned for us. Because Lord, you are our God and you are in control. Some Lord, I take my stand against Satan in your mighty name. Not in my strength. Not in my strength, but in your strength. You have said in a word, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, 
He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely God will save us from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover us with his feathers and under his wings we will find refuge. His faithfulness, God, your faithfulness will be our shield and rampart. Lord Jesus, that's your word. Some Lord, that's your word. Your word. You will not, I will not have to be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor for the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but it will not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked, because I have made the most high my dwelling. Even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall me. No disaster will come near my tent, Lord Jesus. So, Lord, I commit my family members to you. I pray, Lord, your 100% protection, preservation, and coverage of my family members. I give us to you that you bless us, that you keep us, that you guide us, that you will be done in our lives, that you order our steps, that you order our blessings, Lord, that your fear will be upon us and will serve you in spirit and in truth. Some Lord, I put all marriages in your hands. I place in your hands, Lord, this, the institution of marriage. It is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, his Lord. It is in the power of his resurrection. By faith, I execute your legal sentence and judgment of destruction upon Satan and all his forces besieging the institution of marriage. Some of us pray for every broken marriage, every hurting family. Lord, marriages are falling by the wayside like snowflakes. But you are God. And seeing that you have kept this arrangement in place, Lord, I give you every marriage, every marriage on planet Earth I place in your hands. Only you can keep them. So, Lord, I place in your hands every marriage on planet Earth. Every marriage. So, Lord, I pray you restore broken families, broken homes. So, Lord, so, Lord there are hurting families there. There are homes that are broken. There are families who are suffering because of the brokenness of the homes the broken conditions in the homes. So, Lord, I pray to take control of every broken family, every family that is in ruin, every, every sick person made sick by Satan, every saint who is under siege by Satan, every saint who is sick, Lord, Satan has made him sick. Lord, I pray to take charge of every saint, Lord, who has been blinded by Satan, blinded. Bless Father, you know everything. Lord, you are all-knowing. I pray, Lord, for the rescue and deliverance of all the saints who are in trouble now. I pray for missionaries everywhere. I pray for all the servants everywhere. All the servants and planet Earth. Some, Lord, some of your servants, Lord, are sick. Some are laboring on barren fields. Some, Lord Jesus Christ, this Lord, are in prison. Some are on death row. Some are ensnared by the enemy. Some have lost their testimonies. Some have lost their past. Oh God. Some have lost their reputation. Lord, some are mixed up. Lord, some are confused. Some are at br broken uh, points, some Lord. Lord, they are at a point where they are about to break. Bless Father. Bless Father. They are at breaking point. Lord Jesus, I pray, Lord, for your servants. Regardless where they are. Some are laboring in hostile cultures. The religion, religions are against them. Religious people persecute them. The ideology, the political uh, ideology is against them. Governments are against them. Lord Jesus Christ, this Lord. Some Lord, I pray for your servants everywhere. In every situation. Those who are discouraged. Those who are pauperized. Some Lord, those who are sick. Those who are Bless Father, under pressure. 
Some Lord, those, some Lord, who are discouraged. Some Lord, some Lord, those who are poverty stricken. Those who have nothing to eat. Some Lord, those who have no clothes to wear. Some Lord, those in prison. I pray Lord for miraculous deliverance and release from prison. Some Lord, for those who are being mocked and jeered. Some Lord, some of us are written off. Some Lord, some of us are scorned. Some of us are ridiculed every day. As I, as Jeremiah cried to you and said, Lord, is this what you have called me to? Some Lord, Jeremiah says, Lord, you have deceived me. Is it this that you have called me to? Lord Jesus. He said, he is ridiculed every day. He is mocked and laughed at every day. Even his relatives are looking for an occasion to report him. But yet he's preaching the word that you have given him to preach. Is warning the people of judgment to come. But people don't want to hear truth. They curse us out when we preach the truth. The forces controlling them curse us out. But Lord, I pray some Lord that you take control. Be with us. Lord, as the Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13. We, are, we have been made the offscoring of the earth. We are ridiculed and mocked and jeered and scorned and scoffed at we are bypassed oh God Lord Jesus Christ be Lord we are overlooked we are forgotten we are pushed aside we are used when people need the, our ministry they come to us because they want to have their demons cast out they want to have the OB and the lives cancelled they, they want health and strength they want to live they want to be free to go and sin and serve Satan so they come to us and Lord, when we minister to them, we, be, we are weak, we feel it. As the Lord Jesus said, virtue left his body just by the woman with the issue of blood touching the tassel at the foot of his garment. Virtue left him. Lord, we lose virtue every day. And when the people, when it's time for them to sow, they may jump a little dirty $50 or $100, Lord Jesus. They come for the service and the ministry and they don't care to sow. But Lord, you are God and you sit high and you look low. I put all your servants and planet earth in your hands. I pray you bless us. I pray you straighten us. I pray you stand by us. I pray you deliver us. I pray you carry us. I pray you lead us in paths of righteousness. I pray you lead us in paths of holiness. I pray you deliver us from evil. Lord, because we are your people, we are your representative. Lord, we are here to tell people who God is. The Bible says we are ambassadors of Christ. Lord, and the ambassadors and the, the ambassador of the United States in Jamaica represents the government of the United States of America. The ambassador of the United States in Jamaica tells us of the rules and, and, and powers and requirements of the governments of the United States of America. We are here, Lord, to tell people who God is. We are here, Lord Jesus, to let people know of your power and your might. We are your representative. Some of our prayers stand by us. Some of our pray you lead us and guide us. Lead us in paths of righteousness. Lead us in paths of holiness. I pray you deliver us from evil. For your name's sake, deliver us from evil. Some Lord, I pray you deliver us from evil. Some Lord, I pray you deliver us from evil. Some Lord, I put every home and planet earth in your hands. Some of these homes are not godly homes. Some Lord, there are over approximately 7 billion people on planet earth. And there are several billion homes on planet earth. But Christianity is only a fraction of the 7 billion. And even where Christianity, Lord, is, exists in the homes, oftentimes people are locked in superstition. And they continue, Lord, to be superstitious. They continue, Lord, to mix it. Little Jesus, little devil. Little God, little devil. And so, Lord, you're not being glorified in these homes, but I put every home on planet Earth in hands. I apply your blood, the blood of shed at Calvary, to every home, even now, to every condition 
even now to every brokenness even now some lord it is in your name jesus christ with lord it is in the power of your resurrection jesus christ with lord that i execute your legal sentence i execute your judgment of defeat and destruction and fire upon every force assigned to every home and planet earth assigned to the parents in the homes assigned to the children lord jesus some lord to wreck these homes to control them some lord i pray some lord some lord in your mighty name that every member lord of these homes be rescued now and that your light will shine to every lost soul every lost soul some lord execute your legal sentence and judgment of destruction and judgment of defeat upon all forces of darkness besieging every institution and planet earth the management membership yes father the leadership their purposes lord preserve some lord i execute your legal sentence and judgment of destruction bless father upon all forces of darkness and satan assigned to the laws of nature and the weather system and the strike planetary hurricane typhoon monsoon cyclone drought famine poverty war strife lightning fire thunderbolts earthquake tsunami volcanoes lord prince of lord some lord plagues and diseases the coronavirus some lord preserve some lord execute your legal sentence of destruction and abolition upon all such planned disasters for planet earth for 2020 2021 2022 2023 some lord execute your sentence and judgment of abolition upon the coronavirus god stalking planet earth even now lord jesus i pray lord you arrest every plague satan has unleashed on your people some lord i pray you rescue your people some lord i pray you rescue us some lord i pray you deliver us some lord i pray that you guide us and bless us because the ecclesia is still here the rapture has not yet occurred your people are here and lord if the earth goes down we go down if the economy goes down we go down lord let us live like kings and queens princes and princesses bless father and planet earth until you come just lord help us some lord to be mindful of who we are that we are your ambassadors and representatives on earth lord i pray bless us i pray lift us up and let us stand by faith that heaven's table land some lord in you we live and move and have our being some lord you are in control and i praise you i adore you i bless your name because you have done wonderful things your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth you have been a strength to the poor a strength to the needy in his distress a refuge from the storm a shudder from the heat some lord some lord you have not changed you are the same yesterday today and forever you have not changed and lord in you we live and move and have our beings because you will live we can face tomorrow because you will live all fears are gone some lord i commit my ways to you and i commit your people to you some lord i demolish every strong man every territorial force bless father in the mighty name of jesus christ with lord and in the power of your resurrection some lord some lord i pray some lord that whatever your people lord have set out to achieve that they'll achieve i prefer young people some lord young christians young believers some lord i place them in your hands you know their needs you know their challenges some lord you know some lord the the uncertainties that they experience the challenges they face some lord many are confused many are broken many are being led astray lord some lord jesus christ lord are mixed up some lord, i pray for every christian young person some lord i pray lord that you stand by every christian young people person 
I pray, Lord, that you lead them. Lead us in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. I pray, Lord, for every person who desires to be married according to, to your will. I pray, Lord, for every man, every Christian man who desires a wife, that you bring that wife to that person. I pray, Lord, for every Christian woman who desires a husband, that you bring that husband. Some I pray for every house that is in disrepair on planet Earth. Lord, I pray first and foremost for your people, your saints. All the saints who are building, Lord, I place them in your hands. Lord, I pray some, Lord, that you provide for them. That that house that they are building will come to completion speedily. I pray, Lord, for your people, your saints, who are desirous of starting a business. And they are fearful. They are fearful. They want to start, and yet they have not yet started. Some, Lord, I place them in your hands. Some, Lord, pray, you help them to rise up by faith. Because we walk by faith and not by sight. Some, Lord, cause some, Lord, that they experience your power, your might, your blessedness. Your glory, some Lord, praise you. Some Lord, praise you. Some Lord, praise the Lord. I pray you release the faith of your people, some Lord. Some Lord, pray you release the will of your people, some Lord. Some Lord, release the will of your people, some Lord. Some Lord, some Lord, I pray for all those of your people who sow and tithe to you, some Lord. The tithe and the sow, I pray your blessings upon them. I pray you restore them every tithe and sow into your kingdom. I pray you bless and restore them a million fold. Some Lord, people, there are those who tithe and sow out of nothing. I pronounce Second Corinthians 9 upon them. The blessings of Second Corinthians 9. The blessings of Second Corinthians 9. The blessing of Second Corinthians 9. The blessings of Second Corinthians 9, some Lord. Some Lord of Prison. 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 Some Lord, I pronounce your blessings of Second Corinthians 9 upon all your servants and planet earth who tithe and sow in the kingdom. Some Lord, some believers don't tithe and they don't sow. I don't pray for that you bless those financially. I don't pray that you bless them because the Bible says they are under a curse. I cannot pray, Lord, that you contradict yourself because that is impossible. You can't contradict yourself. They have placed themselves under a curse by robbing you. That's what the Bible says. They are robbing you. Tithe and offering. I pray, Lord, for all those who tithe and sow into your kingdom. Be they Christians, be they sinners. I pray you bless them according to your word. I pray you bless them according to your promise. Some, Lord, I pray you bless them. Keep them, guide them, shield them, deliver them, and restore them a millionfold. Every dollar they have sown and tithe in the kingdom. Some, Lord, we are trusting you. In you we live and move and have our being. Lord, we are not afraid of what men will try to do to us. Because you are our God. Lord, you are our maker. You don't always come at the time we expect you to come. But you come on time. Your timing is not our timing. Your timing is different from our timing and expectation. But you are sure. You are a sure God. Lord, it is by faith that I call to you. I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I have no doubt in your character. In the soundness of your character. I have no doubt, Lord, of your trustworthiness. And your commitment to us as your people. No doubt, Lord Jesus. Lord, you are committed to us. You are committed to us. We are your people. And the sheep of your pasture. Son of the Lord. It is on the authority of the word. It is faith in your word. It is, in, it is faith in your character the soundness 
and sublimity of your character that I approach you, that I beseech you, that I put my trust in you, that I talk about you and bask in the glory because Lord, you have never failed. You have never failed us. And you will never fail. You can't fail. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evil men advance against me to devour my flesh, when my enemies and my foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war breaks out against me, even then will I be confident. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his tabernacle will I sacrifice with shouts of joy I will sing and make music to the Lord. Lord, you are my light. You are my salvation. I will not be afraid what men want to say or do to me because you are in control. And in you, we live and move and have our being. We bless you, Lord. We magnify you. We tell you thanks for your goodness and your grace, your mercy and your truth. In your precious name I pray. Amen. Praise God.